For the next few minutes, we're going to talk about the power of brainstorming. Brainstorming provides an opportunity for you to focus your thoughts and ideas and to generate new ideas. And then to make connections between ideas. Uh, when I brainstorm, I only have one rule, and that is there are no rules. Well, okay, except one. And the one idea or the one rule is write everything. Write everything. And by its very nature, brainstorming is messy. And that's okay. Let's look at an example. Let's take the general idea of body image and explore all the different things we can think of related to that. So we know that body image can have be related to women, men, girls, boys, teenagers, elderly, that it can come from books, TV, um, videos, maybe supermodels, maybe the media in general, and let's think fast here, um, cosmetic surgery is related, sometimes called plastic surgery, which can be, gosh, eyes, nose, breasts, maybe even the tush, even hair, teeth. And let's think about self-confidence. or self-esteem and happy, sad, depressed. See how messy this is getting? That's okay. Is it related to fashion? Kind of related to what we were talking about over with media and videos. And bullying. Does bullying have any kind of an effect? or is it a result of body image? So all these different things we just kind of quickly jotted down and now we can stand back and kind of look at these and go, wow, we've thrown a lot out. How about if we focus initially on the idea of body image and the media and girls and let's actually focus on teenagers. So four ideas from this quick brainstorm and from this we can write an initial question, a research question. What effects does the media have on the body image of teenage girls? And then from this research question, we have media, body image, teenage, and girls. Four concepts or keywords that we can now go search in databases. And that is the power of brainstorming.